guys. It is a very, very hot day here, so you'll hear fans in the background, I believe, and I'm sorry for that if it's going to be horrifying for this video. I'll try and talk over that. Today what we're making is a 90s inspired background. Um, I'll be including some 90s themed text as well just because why the heck not. Um, so let's get straight to the tutorial and not bore you to tears. Okay, so we have a white background that we're starting with. Um, but really any color is fine because we're going to get rid of that background anyway, momentarily. So, yeah. Alright, so double click on that layer that you have, um, which should be your background layer. Mine says layer 2 because I got rid of my main background and need it. So double click this and you're going to select pattern overlay. And you're going to select this pattern here, which you won't see um, in your Photoshop. I made this myself and I will provide this pattern in the description box below because you're going to need this and I doubt you'd want to make this particular one yourself so I did the work for you. You're welcome. So go ahead and make that a fill. Take your fill and go to 0% and then make that pattern active and that's what you should see. Look at all those black lines and dots and things of sort. Yes. Now you see why you didn't want to make that background yourself? Thought so. Alright, the next step is a bit tricky and a lot of work, but it's the easiest way I can figure out how to do it. If any of you experts out there know of an easier way to make this particular next step without doing what I did, that's fine. Let me know. Comment below. I'd love to hear some feedback and other words, but yeah. So I have grouped the next following um, part together, but I'll just quickly show you what I did. So we're going to go ahead over here to the shape tool. You're going to select a use custom shape tool and we're going to use the triangle. Triangle should be there. If it's not in your, your version, um, it is there. You have to load it, like I've said previously in other videos. So just go over here to the gear grinder, click that, and click load shapes and select the one you want. So take that shape tool and we're going to make a relatively weird, awkward 90s type of triangle. So something like that. And then we're going to change the color to something 90s themed. I'm going to go with a blue hue for this one. But you guys can switch it up if you'd like. I don't really care. Do whatever you want. Because colors were all the rage in the 90s, believe me. Color everything. Tie-dye. Lisa Frank everything. You know the gist. You know the whole deal. Okay. So once you've done that, now you can use the custom shape tool again if you wanted to to make another triangle. But it won't be as precise. So to make it the exact same shape, I'm just going to duplicate that layer. So control J, duplicate that, that one. Double click that second one and pick a different color. I'm going to go with a pinkish hue because pink is another 90s inspired color. Then we're going to do a control T and we're going to resize this one to a smaller size. Smaller than the other, other one but not too small. So maybe something like that. And then just maneuver it over here so that it's kind of like you have to resize it a little bit. Something kind of like that. Yeah, like that. So you have those two colors. Now the easier way that you probably assume we can do this is just to merge those two together, duplicate it a few times, boom! Not really, because if you go ahead and take the um, two layers together and merge them, it's going to merge the first color, which is the blue color, together, and you'll have two of the same color in one layer not what you really want. So the easiest way to go about this is to hold down the control, controller command key, have both those layers active, make a group out of that, and then within that group just keep duplicating those two layers together and keep like rotating, moving, and all that stuff with those layers till you eventually get something that looks like this. Alright, something that looks kind of like that, that's the exact 90s type of thing you want. And for me it took about 13 layers because I have 7 of these, 3, yeah, 7 of those, so something that looks like that. Now that right there in itself is a 90s background, but I really want to enhance that and add text, so I'm going to go ahead and do that as well. So I've used a um, standard font in Photoshop because finding a 90s themed font on the web isn't as easy as one would think. I did find one I thought that was really 90s themed. But when I downloaded it, my computer would not install it. I don't know why, but it would not install, so I couldn't use it, so I'm sorry about that. But if you find one on the web you want to use, by all means, go for it. But these are two fonts you can use in Photoshop that work just as nicely. First one is 
Cooper STD. That's the standard font. I'm using 150 point size, but again, my canvas is probably larger than yours, so you may have to adjust the size of your font to your canvas size. Um, and then just for fun, I changed up the colors. I used a kind of a greenish lime color for the font, and then I went and double clicked the layer, and we added a stroke. Now mine says color overlay. Disregard that. I just changed the color that way. It was easier for me, but you guys can do it the, the real way. So for the stroke, I'm using 18 pixels for this size, and I'm just changing it to a pink color. But you guys can switch up your colors if you want. It's up to you. And then for my second um, and last um, font, I'm using this here. This I've never used before, but it screamed really cool and 90s themed. Um, I tried this same font with the word jazzed, but it looked a bit weird, like, I don't know, weird for me. So I just wanted to go with that for the word 90, 90s. It's called Trantalato, Trantalato, I don't know how you fuck you say that word, but it's that word, it's that one there, Trantalato, that's the one, yeah, I used that one, it's in Photoshop, I promise you, um, I used purple for the font color choice, and then again, I just double clicked, added a stroke layer, but for this stroke layer, I only used 15 pixels because the font was different and smaller, so yeah. So go with that, and once you've done that, that's exactly what you want to see, and that's your 90s themed tutorial. Um, you guys could totally add some models, hot 90s models, boy bands, girl bands, singers, rap artists, I don't know, you come up with something, do something cool. Make this your own, add some stuff to it, give it a flair, give it a 90s flair, and let's bring back the 90s, because the 90s are all that in a bag of chips. <laughs> Not a good joke. Okay, anyways, thank you guys for watching, commenting if you do. If you have any suggestions for a future video or any ideas or suggestions for this particular channel, hit me up in the comments below or you can inbox me here. You can also find me on social media. All links are below. And with that, I thank you for watching and I will see you guys next week. Oh, and don't forget, pattern is in the description box below. Pattern in the description box below. Okay, thanks. Bye.